the 2020 Super Cup Stock Car Series season was canceled due to COVID. Now the Super Cup competitors have gathered in Thornton, Virginia and Dominion Raceway to get the 2021 championship campaign underway. This is the Super Cup Stock Car Series presented by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant and Star Trucking. It's racing the way it used to be and it's coming your way next. It's perfect weather here at Dominion Raceway in Thornburg, Virginia, as the Super Cup Stock Car Series begins the 2021 championship campaign with the Racing Radio 60, presented by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. Hello, everybody. I'm Gene Crane. Tim Abelseth will cover the pit road for us tonight. In fact, let's go down and hear from Tim with our Trick Shot scene set. Here at Dominion Raceway, it is a beautiful facility, beautiful day for racing in the Super Cup Series. All the teams have worked months and months to prepare for round one, and tonight, one lucky driver will cross the line behind me in first place and be able to claim his first win of the 2021 season. The Dominion Raceway has been a perennial stop since it opened for the Super Cup Stock Car Series. Let's take a look at it, opening in 2016. Tonight, we're using the 4 tenths mile asphalt oval, banked in 14 degrees in the corners and 9 degrees down the straightaway. It's a multi-use motorsports facility as well as entertainment facility. Let's head back down trackside to Tim with our LJ Designs driver profile. Kevin, it is no secret that you know how to get around these racetracks. It is no secret that you know how to drive. But what challenge are you most worried about today in round one? Uh, the biggest challenge is uh, the quality of cars that are here today. You've got Bob Shack, JJ Pack, um, uh, Ben Ebling. You know, all they're all really, really good competitors, and they're really fast. So the biggest challenge is going to be to run with them, and hopefully one of us makes a mistake that the other can win. You know, it, we're just really, really close. We're here with 2018 Series Champion Bob Shack. Bob. You ran here in 2018, won the championship, and then you won the final race of 2019 here at Dominion. What is your strategy for race one today to make sure that you get back in victory lane? Well, I think the biggest thing is for me to get going again. You know, not being in a car for 18 months, it took us a while in practice here to get going. So I think the car is pretty good. I think we'll be okay. It's kind of like uh, like racing like it used to be. You know, it's uh, kind of run what you brung. Uh, we come here, you know, we practice, we qualify, a race, and we get to go home. Well, good luck out there today, Bob. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks. Drivers getting set, knocking the rust off after a long layoff due to COVID. Let's head back down and get a trick shot race strategy from some of our front runners. Here with JJ Pack, who is starting on the front row today at Dominion Raceway. JJ, what is your strategy for getting up to the front and staying in the front? Well, we're just going to try to pace it out right at the beginning just to make sure that everybody, you know, doesn't get too crazy. I mean, it's the first race of the year after a full, you know, two years off. So we're just going to try to take it easy and try to make it to the end. Bob Schacht, he qualified on the pole, redrew third for the invert. So you're starting a little bit further back than maybe you would want to today. So how does it feel for you starting in third place? And how, how really, how is this track so much different from some of the others that you run at? Well, it's it's smooth and it's fast, so kind of fits into my wheelhouse for short track racing. And, you know, third's a good place to start. You know, JJ there, Ken Ebling there on the outside. They're good guys there, so it'll be a fun race. Ben Ebling, you're starting on the outside pole here today. What is your strategy for staying up front and taking this win? Well, we're just going to buy our time, and uh, we want to be there at the end and make sure we got tires on at the end so we can really give them a run for at the end. So as long as we can uh, take care of our equipment and see what we got there at the last couple of laps. The only one that matters is the one with the check flag. All right, thank you. Good luck today, Ben. Well, we'll see how those strategies work out as we get set 60 laps, a short time to get the job done. Drivers getting the safety equipment locked in place and firing up the engines 
Here's Larry Bird, driver of the number nine, veteran campaigner out of Ohio. As he gets that Grant County mulch machine fired up and ready to go for action here tonight for the Super Cup Stock Car Series. Don't go away. We'll be back with the starting lineup and the drop of the green flag to begin the 2021 championship season. This MAV TV presentation of the Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. Trick Shot, it does the trick. And by Racing Radios. And by RacingJunk.com. Welcome back to Dominion Raceway Super Cup Stock Car Action presented by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. And speaking of Trick Shot, let's take a look at our Trick Shot starting lineup. JJ Pack will start from the pole in the 61, the 2014 champion, ebbling up alongside him in the 44. Bob Shack 75 is joined by the 53 of Warren Butler. Kevin Cromer. In the 77, defending champion inside row number three, Jason Kitzmiller on the outside in the 97. Larry Berg and Bill Ashton, row four, car nine and car 35, respectively. Samantha Roball, car number seven inside row five, and Brent Nelson in the 80 on the outside. Denver, North Carolina's Larry Wilcox in car six on the inside of row six, and Jan Markowski in that 54 car. The 29 Landon Brothers on the inside of row 7 and Jason Shue in the 77X. Rob Hint in the 05 make up row number 8 with Hayden Brothers and the 27 car. Riding along with Kevin Cromer as we look to turn 4 and the trick shot race start. Green in the air. We're underway here at Dominion Raceway. And J.J. Pack will get a nose out front down in turns 1 and 2. Cromer sent it down in there. Cromer. Tried to make up time in a hurry. He and Butler side by side for just a moment. Now Bob Schacht is going to move up. He's going to challenge Ben Ebling. Ebling up the racetrack. He'll leave a car width and a lane open for Bob Schacht. Schacht is going to get by. Ebling back to third. Cromer in fourth. And he also will drive to the inside of Ben Ebling's 44 car. Ebling said he was going to be patient. See how the race played out. 60 laps is a short time to get it done. And Cromer sent it down in there. Four tires did not want to stick. He almost used up Ben Ebling down in turns one and two. Cromer trying to wrestle away that third position. Everybody chasing J.J. Pack and Bob Schacht as they go across start finish and back to turns one and two. And Kitzmiller sees the opening with Ebling up to the high side. And Kitzmiller is going to battle with Ebling for that fourth and fifth position. Kitzmiller off of turn four. He's going to take over fourth. Ebling back to fifth. And Butler in that sixth position. Leader is J.J. Pack. Three car length advantage off of turn two over Bob Schacht and the 75 car. Leaders up off the corner. J.J. as we ride on board with J.J. Pack. Veteran. And a champion from back in 2014 here in the Super Cup Series. Numerous trips to Victory Lane and has had several ARCA starts on the Super Speedways as well. No stranger to Super Speedways and short tracks is Bob Shack, the 75 car. Bob Shack is closed in. He's within a car length as they go down the back straightaway. And he is looking to the inside, keeps the car all the way down on the bottom groove. Shack. Looks to the inside as J.J. Pack leaves the door open half a car width through turns one and two, and Bob Shack to the inside. He's going to capitalize. He'll take over the race lead. Shack, your new leader, down in turn three. Packed back to second. Cromer running third as they scream across start finish. Let's take a moment and have a look at our American Racer moment. One of the personalities missing from the pits this year is Mark Huff, who sadly passed away since the last race. Tight to one of his drivers today is Samantha Robaugh, who's running a tribute on her car. Samantha, how much of a loss is this for you? Uh, losing Huff was something none of us expected, something that none of us could have prepared ourselves for. He was more than a member of this race team. He was our family. And without Huff, there wouldn't be a race team. So from here on out, everything's in honor of Huff. New Mark Huff for many, many years in the Pro Cup Series as Mom Mary and Mark 
They fielded a car, the Lucas Oil number eight over in the Pro Cup Series that Johnny Rumley drove and quite successfully. Mark also fouled around quite often with one of the officials known very well to many of these racers in the Super Cup garage area, Rusty Cruz, who oddly enough passed away unexpectedly just a couple weeks later. Mark Huff will be missed in this pit area. As everybody chases Bob Shack, J.J. Pack stays glued to the rear bumper for the most part, just a car length, uh, maybe two and a half car lengths at the most as they're closing in on more traffic, Samantha Roball. And the Grant Kenny Milch number seven car, the white car just ahead of Bob Shack now. They'll head down the back straightaway and into turn three. Shack closes in on Robaugh. Bob Shack will take a look to the inside as they work down the front straightaway. He'll drive to the inside of the seven car. J.J. Pack closes to within a car length as they work the back stretch and down to turn three. Both cars will get by Robaugh. We're going to look at the 05 of Rob Hent. Meanwhile, here is Cromer trying to get by. Whoa, Robaugh and Cromer come together down in turns one and two. Both cars go around. We're under caution. Both cars coming to a stop after a little contact going into turn one. Robaugh gets the car refired. Let's take another look at it in our RacingJunk.com replay. Down to turn one. Robaw arches it off into turn one. Cromer's already there. You can see the quarter panel wrinkle up a little bit in both cars. Go around, and what a job by Kitzmiller. He stopped on the binders, turned the car hard left, and avoided making any contact up there. But meanwhile, Samantha Robaw is bringing the seven car to pit road and serviced by her crew. Tim is down that way. Tim, what's going on? Samantha Robaugh coming down into the pit lane. Definitely some trouble with that car. You see that the left rear is completely flat. There was some contact in turn two, and now the crew has got the jack underneath, trying to get the jack underneath to work on that car. They are rushing to try to get Samantha Robaugh back out onto the track. They have a brand new American Racer tire to put on there, but they're having trouble getting the car on the jack. They now have it up in the air. They're taking the impact to the lug nuts to get the tire off and now put the brand new one back on. Doesn't look like there's a lot of damage on that car, but there was a left rear down that they've had to change. But it looks like they've got everything under control and shortly will be able to get back out on the track. Notice that Samantha's brother, Cody Robaugh, a former champion here in the series, making some major chassis changes up on the track bar. Several turns and also a turn over in the left rear. I tried to free that car up just a little bit for Samantha. She'll rejoin the field. In fact, that is her directly ahead on the bottom as Kevin Cromer is lining up. Field looking to get shaped up and doubled up for a restart here at Dominion Raceway. We'll have more Super Cup Stock Car Series action coming your way, presented by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant, right after this. This Mav TV presentation of the Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. Trick Shot, it does the trick. And by Racing Radios. And by RacingJunk.com. Field shaping up for a restart here at Dominion Raceway, the Racing Radio 60 presented by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. We've got a break in the action. Let's head down trackside with Tim at our childhood performance update. One of the coolest stories in the pit area here today is this right here, the CT525 engine. It's an all aluminum engine versus the steel block engines that a lot of the competitors have ran here in the past, and it is affordable. For um, around $11,000, give or take, you can put one of these engines in a car and go racing. And probably the best part about it is that it can last a long time as long as it's properly maintained, such as changing the oil. This particular engine has been in this car for about four or five years, and every time the driver unloads, he is a threat. So if you're wanting to get into racing, but don't have the biggest of budgets, look no further than this possible wave of the future. 
That was the 35 car of Bill Ashton Tim was speaking about, and Bill Ashton scored his only career Super Cup Series victory at Jennerstown Speedway. I'm going to say around about 2016. Set for a restart, Ben Ebling and Lauren Butler choose the outside as a part of the choose rule here in the Super Cup Series. On the restart, Ebling on the outside is going to battle with Bob Shack for the race lead. Battle down the back straightaway, side by side to turn three. Ebling will get a nose out front, can't turn down in front of the 75. Bob battles back to the inside. Ebling leads that lap. Ebling still on the outside. Trying to hold off Bob Shack, packing that third spot. Kitz Miller is fourth. And Lauren Butler holds down the fifth position. Leaders off of turn four. Bob Shack this time will get the advantage over Ben Ebling. Ebling continues to hold tough on the outside and out of turn two. Has to give it up. Shack to the race lead. Ebling second. JJ Pack third. Kitz Miller in that fourth spot. And Lauren Butler with Larry Berg in tow. Our fifth and sixth. Got into turn three. Kitzmiller will dive to the inside of J.J. Pack. Pack left the door open. Kitzmiller tries to capitalize. Kitzmiller at the line has got third. Can he move up any further? Eblin has been running a higher groove trying to free up that car. Kitzmiller around Pack and in that third spot trying to run down the race leaders. J.J. Pack trying to remount a challenge and here's a look in Cromer's car. Kevin Cromer really loose that time out of the corner. Damage obviously to that car after that contact and spin early on for our only caution so far tonight. It is Kitzmiller in turns one and two that goes up the racetrack. J.J. Pack Stuck a nose to the inside, took a look at it. Couldn't make it happen. Kitzmiller in the 97 car. Trying to hold off and score a top five here, a third place finish here at Dominion Raceway. And Kevin Cromer just trying to hang on and finish here tonight. Laps are winding down. Shacked. Working traffic, he's got Larry Wilcox directly ahead. Kitzmiller got to the rear bumper of the 44 of Ebling. He loses some time and here comes JJ packed up to challenge. They'll all have to work their way around the six car of Wilcox. Ebling goes to the outside. Kitzmiller started to go to the outside. Little contact from Pack. JJ Pack gets him loose and is able to get a nose to the inside. Kitzmiller will use the six car as a pick. He goes up the racetrack, an opening as they come down the front stretch, three wide, J.J. Pack to the inside of Kitzmiller and into the corner, gets the car loose. J.J. Pack has to chase it. J.J. Pack as they come back to the white flag, the star trucking white flag. Bob Schacht one more time around the four tenths mile. Can he pick up his career win number seven in the Super Cup Series? He's out front, looks solidly like he is headed to victory lane. Bob Shack out of turn number four. Checkers are in the air and he'll do the trick. Bob Shack, your trick shot, penetrating lubricant winner here tonight in the Racing Radio 60. Ebling will finish in that second spot. Third is JJ Pack, Jason Kitzmiller in that fourth position and Larry Berg able to get by Warren Butler and take over the fifth position here in the 60 lapper for the Racing Radio 60 in the Super Cup Stock Car Series. A look at the rest of our finishing order as Bob Shack will be on his way to the start finish line and a victory celebration. Here is the 75 car and boy, that sponsorship, that engineered component sponsorship has been a long standing tradition. Probably uh, probably has got to be coming close to a record in motorsports as far as the relationship with Bob Schacht in the 75 car and engineered components. But Bob Schacht picks up the win. He took off the 2019 season and actually went road racing in the Trans Am Series. Came back after the Trans Am Series had completed and finished up the 2019 season with the most recent win in Super Cup right here at Dominion Raceway and now he's in victory lane again Bob Shack heading to start finish and a celebration to begin the 2021 season for the Super Cup Stock Car Series.
Tim is on his way down to victory lane, and let's get a word from our winner, Bob Schacht, and car number 75. Bob Schacht climbs out of his number 75 machine, victorious here at Dominion Raceway in round one of the Super Cup Series. Yes! How's that? Bob Schacht, you had a fast car today. You started third when they took the green flag. How did you make your way up to the front? Well, I just waited for, you know, JJ to kind of slide around a little bit and get tires working and stuff. So my stuff came in pretty early like that. And Hey, Derek Lancaster, got burned at Talladega. This one's for you, buddy. Yeah, we're all thinking about Derek Lancaster for sure. Did that mid-race caution help you out because you were already in the lead? Were you thinking, oh, no, they're going to catch me, or were you just ready? <laughs> well, uh, sometimes them restarts are tricky. But, uh, no, actually, I could catch my breath. It's been, what, 18, 19 months since we've raced. So at least I made it to the end. <laughs> So does it, 60 more to go yet. <laughs> so does this give you a lot of confidence for the rest of the season? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these guys here, they work really hard for me. And, uh, you know, we, we, we work. We work hard at this. So it's fun. And uh, praise the Lord, man. <laughs> it's good. Bob Schacht, the winner of round one of the Super Cup Series. <laughs> well, Bob certainly did not fall out of the seat, as we call it. He got the job done here tonight. And... Put together a spectacular win. Ben Ebling held on for the second spot. Used that choose rule to leverage his track position for the restart. Ben Ebling, second here tonight. Let's hear from our second place finisher. Here with Ben Ebling, the driver of the number 44, coming in second place in round one of the Super Cup Series. Ben, you looked like you had a fast car, but you came up one spot short. What more could you have done? We, we just had it a little bit too tight there. Uh, just got to where it was pushing from the center off real bad, and I just I didn't have anything for the 75 car. That was everything I had out there on the table, so we just got to free it up a little bit on, on those runs there. So how do you how do you think you're feeling about the rest of the season? You finished runner up in the first race. I mean, it's not a bad way to start. Uh, obviously, you want to lead some laps and get as many points as you can. But we'll take second. The car's in one piece. We can work on it and make this forward a little bit faster for the next race. Got to thank sponsors like Swanee's Auto Sales, Star Town Carpet for getting us here, uh, Battery Specials at Hickory, LNC Truck Repair. All these people make it possible for me to, to come out here and come race. Well, both Bob Shank and Ben Ebling came on the Super Cup scene about three years ago and have been a dominant force. And Ebling, with eight trips to victory lane, has another shot later on to make it number nine. Let's hear from our third place finisher, J.J. Pack. J.J. Pack, he started on the front row, finishes in third. J.J., it's not the result you wanted, but you got to be happy with a third place finish. Yeah, it wasn't a bad car tonight. Uh, it was about halfway when that first caution came out. Our car actually lost a cylinder or something because it went flat after that. I couldn't do anything with the leader. Do you think you would have had anything for the 75 or the 44 with a few more laps? I think so. I think I got something. As long as we can get it fixed for the next deal, I think I can get them. Well, that was the 61 of J.J. Pack, your third place finisher in round one. Could be as simple as a spark plug wire or a cracked rotor cap, but they'll get it figured out for the second of the Twin 60s here at Dominion Raceway. J.J. Pack, uh, not only a champion, but many-time winner here in Super Cup Stock Car Racing Action. Log on to SuperCupStockCarSeries.com for more information on the Super Cup Series, as well as Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant and Star Trucking. Congratulations to Bob Shack picking up the win in the first of the Racing Radio 60s here at Dominion Raceway. For Tim Abelseth, I'm Gene Crane, and thanks for joining us. This MAV TV presentation of the Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Trick Shot Penetrating Lubricant. Trick Shot, it does the trick. And by American Racer Tires. And by Chalu Performance.